So it looks like you, um, you probably tried to make something work with somebody. But because your energy wasn't completely grounded, because you weren't, um, where you were supposed to be for this, um, for these energies to really align, it just didn't work out. Um, you could have, um, with the full reverse, you could have, um, you or this other person are probably having a hard time trusting somebody. And it's right next to temperance reversed. So, I feel like the reason why you are having a hard time trusting somebody, whether there is an external issue or not, um, with this specific person, I feel like um, you're having a hard time trusting because you're not grounding yourself. You're not, you know, balancing your energies. Um, and you or somebody else walked away. There could have been some um, harsh, premature um, communication. Um, especially with the Five of Swords as well. And somebody walked away because of it. And with the Ace of Wands reversed, this can be like, like, extreme outbursts like just anger you know fire sign qualities not being able to tame their anger and maybe that's why strength is at the bottom of the deck because once this was over with you realized that if you were the one who was getting angry with the other person you realized that it's something that you need to work on you got to tame that beast um let me clarify the world reversed. Clarify the world reversed for Leo. Ten of Swords. So it's it's the end of the betrayal of you know all these swords stabbed in you, but in this in this side of the card on this one there's nobody there. They've walked away. You know, they have moved on from whatever this betrayal was. But in this one, this person is really reflecting on it. So that's probably why the world's reversed. This betrayal is over. Whatever happened in the past that's, you know, made you lose your trust for this person, you're still dwelling on it. Whether it's still going on or not, it's time to let it go. Because that could be why you are getting so angry with this person. Why, you know, there's harsh communication. Not because they're still hurting you, but because you're still holding on to something that happened in the past, something that's not even relevant now. I mean, it, it's still relevant. You should never forget about past betrayals, but you shouldn't hold on to it so much. It's only going to create unhappiness and friction. So if you were trying to work on something with somebody but still holding on to a past betrayal, that's exactly why you weren't able to trust them. It's exactly why there was harsh communication, why there was, you know, this outburst of, you know, energy, of, you know, anger. And that's why this person walked away. There's a... There's a saying, I don't know exactly how it goes, but it's along the lines of um, somebody, if somebody is working on changing their bad patterns, you shouldn't keep reminding them of that. You know, it's, they shouldn't, they, everybody should have the opportunity to change bad patterns without them being constantly judged for it. And, we do have judgment here. I, it's reversed. So somebody's not forgiving somebody for what they've done in the past. You're holding on to this past betrayal. You're not forgiving. There's harsh communication. There's anger. There's no trust. There's, you know, a lack of balance and grounding yourself. But 
You're still trying to make it work with this person? It's not going to happen. It's not going to work until you can learn to let go of the past and forgive. So, let me clarify this Eight of Swords reversed. You have the Hierophant, could be dealing with the Taurus, and the King of Cups. So, if, if you're the one that was, you know, holding on to past betrayals, and your significant other is the one that walked away, it's because they're no longer feeling trapped in this mindset. They've learned their lessons, and they're balancing their emotions, and they're ready to move on. They don't want to keep being reminded of something that they did in the past. They don't want to keep being reminded of the person that they used to be after they've already gone through a transformation. Let me clarify this. Eight of Cups for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Cups. Queen of Wands. Five of Cups. The Empress. Four of Cups. And the Page of Cups. And, you know, the Empress and the Page of Cups both have their back turned. So, and if you look at it... The Page of Cups and the Empress both have their back turned, but the way I put it, the Five of Cups looks like that's what they're facing. So they're turning their back on this reconciliation. They're turning their back on this, you know, going towards each other, this trying to make a relationship work because they're still holding on to something petty, something that whether it was a real betrayal or not, the fact that it's in the past and you're still focusing on the past after transformations makes it petty. It's something that you shouldn't even be holding on to anymore. Whether you're going to be with this person or not, you have to learn to let that shit go. And you have the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups. And the, th the Three of Cups in this position, there's nobody there with her. She's just waiting, reaching out, wanting somebody to fill her cup, and nobody's coming. Why? Because she's still holding on to the past. Because she hasn't forgiven. Because she's not coming from a place of love, so nobody's coming. And then you have the Four of Cups. You're going to miss an opportunity if you don't forgive and let go of the past. Whether it's going to be with this person or somebody new, you have to forgive and let go. Holding on to it is only going to create either friction in this re this new relationship with an old person or new relationship with a new person. You have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And in this position, this is like, I feel like this lightning bolt is like very similar to the tower. I mean, the lightning bolt is in the tower card. So I feel like this is... Harsh communication, harsh mess messages, Message messages taken in a negative aspect, whereas this one would be positive mess messages. So, again, harsh communication, because you are stuck on what happened in the past, because you're not grounding yourself and forgiving and moving on from whatever this petty is. Tell me about temperance. There's the Eight of Wands. In the positive position, so you're not grounding yourself, but you're expecting this um, positive communication, this positive message to come in. It's not going to happen because if you're holding on to a past betrayal, chances are you got hate in your heart. Maybe not actual hate, but it's definitely not pure love that's in your heart. So... You can't expect somebody to come in with pure love if you're not giving them pure love, you know? So, let me see where you should be focusing your energies for the next few days. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best advice for March 24th through the 27th. Alright, you have card 35. And if you see, she's on a carousel or a merry-go-round, so this is probably has to do with cycles. But let me read it. 
solitude, loneliness, isolation. Only in quiet waters do things mirror themselves undistorted. Only in a quiet mind is adequate perception of the world. We all need some me time. The family, the job, the groceries, the world, they can all wait. During these few precious moments of escape, they do not exist. I am alone. My only companion are my thoughts. A solitary figure sits beneath a golden domed shelter, a raised island of solitude that is separate and distant from others of its kind. Their forms are mirrored in the silent waters. Here she embraces her solitude, which provides her with purity and clarity of thought. There are no distractions. Her book is empty. There is nothing to read or enter. Only passing thoughts are present, which are released to float gently in the breeze and drift away. While such moments can refresh and recharge our spirits, be wary of the be wary that by degree or frequency, solitude does not become an uncontrolled isolation. If the distance between us and others is extended too far, it may become difficult to return. So, you're definitely isolating yourself with this card coming out. And I feel like it's not telling you to isolate yourself. I feel like it's telling you to come out of isolation. Um, when you isolate yourself, especially after some kind of betrayal, you focus too much on the negative parts of yourself. Um, or you can have a tendency to. So get out, have some fun. Um, go hang out with your friends or your family. Go out to a bar. Maybe you'll get complimented. Maybe you'll, you know, get back that Leo um, energy and you'll have the confidence to forgive this person and to move on and to not be so harsh with your communication. You'll learn to really love yourself again to the point where you can let go of whatever this petty was. So Leo, your advice, go out, have some fun. But also tame the beast. Yeah. That one wanted to come out. Seven of coins reversed. One more for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. King of wands reversed. Leo, Leo, Leo. You have five of swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. Normally, I see a whole lot of like with each zodiac, I see that specific zodiac sign being the victim of a third party or cheating. This time, unfortunately, I see the Leos being the cheater, not being the one cheated on. Which, I mean, it's all a matter of how you look at things. Um, it could be negative, it could be not, it's up to you, but... If you have two lovers, some they're going to find out, and it's going to be a huge fight. Huge fight. And you might end up losing both of them. So, if that's you, Leo... You better hurry up and pick one, because you you might lose both of them. I feel like one of them you're with more just because they have money. And the other one you're with be out of love. Tell me about this ton of coins reversed. The Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The world reversed. Tell me about the world. Woo! Really. Oh, shit. That one flew really far away. Ace of Wands reversed. Damn, man. It's going to be a, a huge fight. Huge. Or, if you don't have two lovers, 
and you are in what you think is a good relationship, be careful. Do your research. Do a little spying. Check their phone while they're sleeping. Because they might have somebody else on the side. With the Ten of Coins reverse, I always see that as home wrecker. And then it's clarified the, by the World reverse and the Ace of Wands reverse. So this is probably a karmic situation that you've done before in a past life. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Definitely check their phone with the Eight of Wands here. They might be sending messages elsewhere. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Ugh, man. So, and you got the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, somebody here is being impatient. Um, whoever's doing the cheating is the one who's being impatient. They could be burdened by something. Um, you know, they're probably... There's probably a little bit of, like, a rocky period in your relationship. And because they... I don't know how to say this. They didn't really want to deal with it head on. They just wanted it to brush it under the rug, maybe. And act like there weren't any issues. They just wanted the fighting to be over. And they may have sent messages elsewhere because they were too impatient. Oh man, I wish I could say this, how I have it in my head. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands. So they, you probably had a period in your love life where there was no sex. There may, may have been a little bit of arguments here and there. You're just, you know, having the same issues that every relationship has, I feel like. You know, every once in a while, somebody just gets to a place where they, you know, just don't want to have sex. They're just feeling a little down. It's nothing against the partner. They just need a little space. And this other person got a little impatient. They wanted that booty, and you weren't giving it to them. So they went and found it with somebody else. That's what I'm feeling like. Or, if that's not the case and they didn't cheat on you, I feel like they're going to get impatient and leave, break up with you. You know, whatever issues are, you're going on or that are going on, they're not going to be patient and let you work through them or work with you through them. They're just going to, you know, walk away, I feel like. Tell me about the King of Wands. Or Leo, you might be the one that's getting impatient, waiting for this person to sort through their problems. The Hanged Man Reverse. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, but this is not wanting to wait anymore. This is being impatient, wanting things to just get better in your life. And you don't see this person improving at the pace that you would consider a good pace. But just because they're not progressing at the at the pace that you want them to doesn't mean they're not progressing. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, which would be another card of being impatient. The Fool reversed. So... You're probably thinking that you can't trust this person, that they haven't changed, that you don't want to take another risk with this person. Um, I don't know what happened in the past, but it's something that, you know, caused a rift, a rift in the relationship. So <coughs> somebody here is getting impatient and not letting, not going with the flow, I feel like. Tell me about the King of Swords. This King of Swords could be a narcissist. 
this could be a narcissist empath relationship and you're waiting for the narcissist to stop with the selfish behavior to start thinking of people other than themselves and you're just getting impatient with how long the process is taking tell me about the king of swords you have the star reversed could be an aquarius so This person's not communicating with you about something about the Ten of Cups. Let's see what they're not communicating with you about. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Leo. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Three of Swords reversed. Oof, man. Okay, so back to what I originally said. Someone might not be communicating with you that they're already in another relationship. And so we have one person who is not communicating about another relationship. And then we have a person over here who's getting impatient and not wanting to take a risk and is just moving on. Tell me about the five of wands. Clarify the five of wands. King of Pentacles. With the Nine of Wands reversed, the bottom of the deck. So somebody's given up here. I feel like they're just going to focus on their job. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Five of Wands reversed. Come on. <laughs> so we have the Five of Wands reversed with the King of Pentacles. So we got three kings here now. We have the Five of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. So there's probably been an argument between the two of you that is giving this person anxiety. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they're having anxiety about it. You know, not sleeping at night. It's just too much work, so they want to give up. I feel like both sides of these are just giving up. And now that I really look at this, I don't think there was a third party. But this person really wanted the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups with you. But it's just too much work. There's too much fighting. They're, they have anxiety about it. They're losing hope. And this person over here is impatient, is not allowing this person to go through whatever process they need to go through, possibly with healing over a breakup or a separation or maybe they got stabbed in the back from somebody now that I'm looking at this card. So that's what I'm seeing. Like, you're both just kind of giving up. And you have the Five of Swords reversed again at the bottom of the deck. So this is, the Five of Swords reversed I feel like is a mutual defeat. Neither of you want to work on this. So let me get you some final advice. See where you should be focusing your energy for the next week.
Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have the dagger. Oh boy. You have death at the bottom of the deck. That's the ending of a relationship. The ending of something. And the dagger is protection, justice, and assertion. So, you're, what you need to be doing right now is protecting yourself from... The Five of Wands reverse can be, you know, jealousy and envy. This could be haters. This could be people projecting that hate onto you. So what you need to be focusing on is protecting your energy from whatever this may be. Whatever haters are getting into your energy right now. And... That could possibly be why this relationship isn't working. Why this person's getting impatient and this person's losing hope. Um, <clears throat> I have been seeing that. I do some daily readings for my Facebook friends. And I have been seeing that in a couple of the readings I did this week. Where, you know, just because somebody's jealous of the relationship that you have with your man or woman, um, not that they're practicing black magic or anything, but just because they're, they have so much jealousy and envy building up, that energy just projects out to the person that it's directed at. And if you're not protecting your energy, if you're not, you know, blocking that from coming in, then it will affect your relationship. And it needs to be, you both mutually need to protect yourself from whoever this envious person is. Because they're, they're ruining your relationship. We do have a homewrecker right here. So it could be sexual, non-sexual. It could be, like, it could be just your mother. I'm not saying that's what I see, but it, it just giving you some possibilities. And... Your intuition will tell you who this person is. You know, you just got to read body language and listen to how this person talks to you. You know, find out how this person talks about you behind your back. And you'll be able to see who this person is that's breaking up this relationship. That could have been awesome. This relationship could be great. Because these two cards were the first two cards out. And in the upright, two cards of, you know, a wonderful, emotionally fulfilling relationship. And then the rest of these cards are all garbage. And then your best advice is protection. You might have somebody who's very jealous of you. You're a Leo. People are just naturally drawn to your energy because you just radiate self-confidence. Even if you're not a confident person, you just radiate it. That You just put on that persona that you're very confident. And people just can get jealous of that sometimes. So, Leo, protect your energy. Talk to your partner. Let them know that you feel like this may be happening. And, you know, show him how, him or her, how he can... Um, protect his energy and the best way for you to protect against this is to not pay it too much attention.